in a Hindu youth led event called Think Like a Bharatiya that was held in Chennai, India. Kailasa's spiritual ambassadors were present and had given the United States of Kailasa coffee table book to one of India's Supreme Court advocates, Jay Sai Deepak. This book was given and remembering and celebrating a shared understanding about the core truths and the origins of the Guru Shishya Sampradayas of Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Yes, we are proud to share this book at this event where many young Hindus joined and listened to keynote speakers talking about how to think like a Bharatiya. Bharatiya meaning those who come from the origins and the traditions of Bharata. Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Bhagavan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam is a living example of a person who not only thought like a Bharatiya, lived like a Bharatiya and still lives like a Bharatiya today. In the speech, Jay Sa Deepak today reflected very similar thoughts on to, and sent a message to the Hindu youth very similarly to how the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism has trained us in building the very Kailasa nation. One of those is that he shared to go to our communities and to revive our temples. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism has trained us in reviving temple traditions, customs, culinary arts and the traditional arts of the temples and had made it possible in temples around the world. Second thing, Jay Sadibak also mentioned to pay attention to the way our opposition works. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism has trained us to overcome our enemy by overcoming the enmity within us. And that way we use not just the knowledge but also the intelligence to be able to know how to better protect the Hindu ecosystem we are creating and protecting. Finally, Mr. J. Sai Deepak encouraged young minds, young Hindu minds gathered at this event to commit to reviving Hinduism. And he said in an example, like an Asura, yes, a Puranas, in the Puranas, the Asuras are always those who do the intense tapas and their penance is something that shakes the entire cosmos. The Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism initiates us and teaches us there is things to learn from both Guru and Shukra, the Guru of the Devas and the Guru of the Asuras. Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism has mentioned that the tapas and the commitment of the Asuras is something that can shake the whole cosmos with their unbearable tapas. This way, he empowered us also to live this extre extraordinary possibility of will persistence. We look forward after we have beautifully been able to make this connection and present the United States of Kailasa book for seeing how we can strengthen these relations and benefit the youth of the Hindu diaspora more. At the same event, Kailasa's spiritual ambassadors presented the United States of Kailasa book to Shiva Sri Skanda Prasad, who is the director of the organization that organized this event, Think Like a Bharatiya, and prepared a beautiful forum for the young Hindus to come together and collaborate. This gesture that we have also been able to present the Kailasa book to her, it symbolizes the enduring diplomatic ties between Kailasa and the, Hen and the young Hindu leaders of India. Such exchanges reinforce the commitment to fostering mutual understanding and collaboration between our shared ideas about Sanatana Hindu Dharma. Shiva Shri made an interesting point in her encouragement to the Hindu youth gathered there that globalization doesn't technically mean adapting to Western ideas. We're proud to share that since 2001, the Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism has continuously reminded and encouraged Hindu youth that to be modernized does not necessarily mean to become westernized. We look forward to strengthening these relations and seeing how we can better benefit the youth of the Hindu diaspora. Finally, this esteemed event had K. Annamalai, the leader of the Bharati Ajanta Party in Tamil Nadu. Uh, we had seen him also contribute to the theme of Think Like a Bharatiya, encouraging youth to micromanage their communities so that 
everything can be locally grown, locally cooked and served to those who visit their small villages. We have presented Mr. K. Annamalai this United States of Kailasa book when he visited the Nityananda Chinmabhumi, Tiruvannamalai, a few weeks ago. So Ribbon Trip of Hinduism has literally manualized this whole process inside the United States of Kailasa book, exemplifying how we should live off the land and live off the local production. When he established the Aushada Nadana in Nityananda Chinmabhumi, Tiruvannamalai, in Kailasa's Bharata, we also share these beautiful share similar sentiments about how Hinduism revives and gives people the possibility to grow locally and produce locally and live in the local way.